This is Chad with the iPhone blog, and now I'm going to show you uh, Evernote for iPad. So I have Evernote right here on my home screen. I'm going to tap on Evernote, and the first view that we come to here is an all notes view. We have a notebooks, tags, places, and searches. And you can rotate, and the device will rotate as needed. I kind of prefer the landscape. And you can flick through your notes, tap on notebooks, and you can choose by name or note count. I have them sorted by name. You can see if they're empty, they're, they're kind of uh, got the gray composition book type of feel. And if not, they're, they're stacked. Uh, and then we have tags. So it has all of your tags here. And then any notes that are on those tags. As an example, when I came here, uh, I'm on vacation. I've got the uh, picture for uh, where I took, uh, where I parked. And so I labeled that under travel uh, in Cincinnati Airport. And right now it's loading. And i got to tell you, my, my Wi-Fi is, um, shall we say, spotty using the iPad. So I don't want you to think that the iPad is uh, super slow in terms of rendering. It's just actually taking a, a second, so we'll kind of skip past that. I can also go to Places, and so it's going to show me for this particular note uh, where it was taken. You can see the little one pop up, but I have all in-app map here. It's kind of nice. And then any saved searches, uh, if I had any. So it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, down here, I can also choose satellite hybrid or share my current location. I can manually sync over here on the right. Very convenient. And I can also make a new note. And so I can start typing. I can take an audio note from here. And I can also add a photo uh, from my uh, notes as well. You can add the image clip plus add audio, kind of all in one. And you can see here it's actually recording. I can give that a name and sync it up. And I'm going to discard my changes for now. And I'll go back to All Notes and uh, rotate back. And that's pretty much Evernote. There's only one other option you should see, and that's View Options. You can choose how to sort it, which is fine. But you can also choose to view it via thumbnail, uh, which is here. You can view a few more notes on the screen, or you can view it with details. Oops. If I view it with details, uh, you can see it actually gives me the name and some other information. So depending on what you're looking for, uh, you have several tools at your disposal. And again, this is uh, Evernote for the iPad.